guys, welcome to The Bite. My name is Jackie and welcome to quarantine baking at our house. This is Lent season for us, so we are not eating any meat or dairy and I need my chocolate. I need my chocolate chip cookies, so I needed to develop something without any eggs or any butter. And it actually ended up working out perfectly because during this time, a lot of people are struggling to find eggs and butter. A lot of the like essentials for baking, unless you have them on hand already. So I thought this would be the perfect time to share my dairy-free chocolate chip cookies. These work perfectly because they have vegetable oil and pretty much all the other regular baking essentials that you need. The only additional ingredient I would say that you would need is a non-dairy milk of your choice. You could probably substitute this for regular milk. It would likely work just as well, but today I have non-dairy milk. Um, the ingredients are very simple, very basic. So let's go over them so we can start making the cookies. All right, I have my two sugars here, the white and the brown sugar all the dry ingredients, so flour, baking soda, baking powder, and salt. I have vegetable oil. I have, of course, chocolate chips, coconut milk, vanilla extract, and I have apple cider vinegar. I feel like this really does a lot to the texture of the cookies, and I feel like it um, gives them that chewy slash crunchy edge basically that ultimate bite that you're looking for in a chocolate chip cookie or that I'm looking for. So I think it does a lot here. You don't have to add it or you can substitute for white vinegar. And when you make these, you don't taste the vinegar at all. It just adds to the texture. I've actually, one of my friends used applesauce. Um, I don't know if it was the same exact recipe that she used, but she used applesauce in place of the apple cider vinegar and she really liked the way it turned out as well. But this is what I'm going to show you. I was developing this, I tried and tried and tried, and most times it didn't turn out the way I want it until I got to this. And I really think it's due to the apple cider vinegar. So, don't knock it till you try it. I'm just going to break up these sugars real quick. All right, I'm going to add all my wet ingredients. So that includes the oil, the coconut milk, the apple cider vinegar, and the vanilla extract. Mix this all up until well combined. You can see at this point, it's really starting to resemble what it would look like if you were making just regular chocolate chip cookies with dairy. It kind of has that same texture that I'm looking for when I mix these together. And now I'm going to switch to a spatula because I'm going to be adding in all my dry ingredients. I just want to toss these together with my spatula so that I don't get clumps of baking powder and stuff at that right end and just fold them all in. So what are you guys doing during this quarantine? I've been doing a lot of cooking, a lot of recipe developing. I plan to do a lot of filming. Um, so my husband does work in the ER. So shout out to all the healthcare personnel and anybody who is working during these crazy times. Um, this is pretty insane. So really big shout out to anybody who is putting their lives on the line and just staying open for us. You can see this batter is looking really good. At this point, I'm gonna add in all my chocolate chips. Okay, I'm ready to scoop these out. These are gonna go into a 350 degree oven for about 15 minutes or until the edges are golden brown. And then once we pull them out, we're gonna slam them on the counter so that they achieve that wavy, gooey texture that I love, that a lot of people seem to love. I have a little one right here. This is not a full cookie, so this one will probably be a little bit more crispy, but I needed to use that dough. I can't just let it go. So I am just going to stick these in and we'll be back. These look so good. You can see all the crackly edges. It's so appetizing to me. And I will say that I could have let the batter sit for a little bit, and that's what I did when I was testing the recipes, actually. And it makes them not spread so much, especially if you store them in the refrigerator. Um, but I didn't do that today. <laughs> We're quarantine baking. We want our cookies now. So, I don't know which one I want. I kind of, I think I want this one over here. And you can just, Doing that, I could feel that they're gonna be so chewy and delicious. And those crispy edges, see? 
and then the chewy center is everything that cookies need to be made of. If you're in quarantine, and you should be, you want to do it with these cookies. That's all I gotta say. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel while you're here. I have a lot of great Lent recipes coming up and then we get back to regular content once Easter passes. I love these cookies and whether or not you are dairy free, whether or not you are uh, going through Lent just like we are, I know you will enjoy these because they honestly taste just like regular chocolate chip cookies and that's what I love about them. So thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you next time on the bike.